Hey everybody, this is Josh from WR Long. Today we're gonna to talk about the parts of your valve and how to remove it from your tractor. The warranty on our valve is one year. If you feel like there's something wrong with the valve and it's less than a year old, please give us a call. But before we move ahead, I'd like to identify a few parts of the valve. This is your valve body, two solenoids, the subplate where the four hoses are connected, and the control module. We wanna take the valve off the tractor and take it to the workbench since there are small parts and springs inside. Before we do this, we need to relieve all the pressure from the hydraulic system. Rotate your joystick back and forth and left and right until the loader quits moving. Operate your third function buttons also to relieve any pressure from your attachment. You can also disconnect the quick connects on the A and B ports from your subplate. Also have a bucket available to catch any hydraulic fluid. We provide either a small valve or a larger valve depending on the flow rate of your tractor. A smaller valve is symmetrical, so it is possible to mount it 180 degrees in the wrong direction. Take a photo of the valve mounted and note the letters on the side of the valve for future reference. Here we will remove the plastic nuts from either side of the valve and slide off the solenoids. There may be an O-ring on the top side which helps to keep water out. There should be no O-ring on the bottom. We will next remove the control module by removing the control module cover and taking the two screws off that hold the circuit board onto the valve. Next, we will remove the four socket head cap screws that hold the valve to the subplate. Here's a disassembled valve. We have the valve body, the spool, the washer, retainer, a spring, the push pin, the core tube, a large o-ring, the solenoid, a small o-ring, and the nut. We appreciate you watching our video today and I hope it helped. If you have any more questions, check out our website and just remember, we're here when you need us.